Hey, what's up everyone? My name is The Girl With The Eye, and I just wanted to say I really loved Christmas, and this is what I got for Christmas. And yeah, it's this awesome, uh, like, orca whale shark shirt. It's this, see? This is what I got for Christmas. So this is gonna be my Christmas haul. Why'd you break into my house? Get out of here right now. I didn't break in, you let me in. Hey, what's up everyone? Eric Rast, the guy with the eye here. And I have no idea who Shim was, and hopefully they're gone. You're gonna take that towel with them. But I wanted to make a quick video today discussing my, kind of my quick photography Christmas haul, what I got for the holidays from friends and family. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to see, you know, I just wanted to show kind of what I got and I'll be interested in hearing what you guys got. So one of the first things that I got is, now this isn't photography related, but if you know me a little bit, especially people that really first started watching my channel, I love Johnny Cash. And that's the most I could play before YouTube tries to flag the video. But I got a cool Johnny Cash like type ornament. And it's just cool, it plays one song, Ring of Fire, but it's just freaking awesome. As you know, I love to collect vintage type cameras. So I got another one. And this is the Brownie Star Mite camera. Little guy, this actually works. See this little thing? Let me try to do it, get in better light. But it's just this little guy. I don't have anything like it. You know, I have a you know a ton of little brownie stuff here and there, but nothing like this. But this is one of the other things that I got. And, uh, you know, I'm not sure if I'm gonna go shoot with it or not, but I definitely, it's gonna be added to the collection on that desk. Another quick thing I got since we're talking about cameras is a Polaroid Land camera. This is like the Model 80A, and this is a freaking beast. I don't even know if it works, but I, uh, I know, I think my aunt got this for me, and um, yeah, it, it, this is just gonna be an awesome camera to add to the collection. You know, if it works, I know the film's kinda hard to uh, find for these, but these things are freaking cool. You know, it's folding out with the bellows right here. And yeah, that's just another thing, that a small little thing that I got for Christmas. And it's awesome. Once again, you know I have a lot of film, and I have film that I got for Christmas. But it's not actually film. It is actually a salt and pepper shaker. Let me show you what it looks like, because I haven't even opened this yet. Oh, it's so funny. These things are pretty huge. You know, it even has the tab going off here. Uh, you, know, you kind of see it right there, like if it's a film strip. But these things are really, really awesome and epic. And I'm guessing you just twist off the top. Add in exactly what you need, and then there's the little holes, which you can't see, that are right here that you can use it. But yeah, these things are pretty cool and awesome, and they're really large. So this is your pepper, this is your pepper film, and this is your salt, salt shaker. Stick it like a salt shaker. So this, I like these kind of gifts that you can give to a uh, anyone who's into photography. Boom. I also like to collect Ansel Adam books, and I have another Ansel Adam book. Let's see if I can show you right here. This is about his national parks. It's really, really great. You get a lot of awesome, uh, you know, pictures of his with his own system and everything. That's really, really cool. Another thing that I got was by Brandon Stanton, and that is Humans of New York. I really wanted to see this book. And if you follow, like, the Facebook page or any of his following, uh, he basically documents people of New York. He goes around, takes photos of them, uh, you know, on the streets, and then gets, like, a quote or two from them, uh, a piece. Like, for example, you know, stuff like that. He'll go around... Uh, you know, just, just other just cool stuff. He shoots everything in cool ways. He's a really good portrait photographer. And he does capture an essence of a person. And I think it's really, really cool. But I really wanted to give this a look a slash read. It's a family picture book. But it's just this, um, it's something that you can look forward to, you know, when you're out doing street photography and everything like that. But this is really, really cool. So one of the gifts I'm really going to start using for my photography, in, you know, especially my wedding photography, is the F-Stoppers flash disc. So I've seen this thing, you know, in, in reviews, I've seen it on the F-Stopper site. And I think, okay, it's a cool, small little thing. Well, you could take this in two ways. It could either be, you know, small, which is great for like something more portable, which how I'm going to use it just on camera type of thing, because it's really going to get a nice soft light and you're not worrying about just bouncing, you know, every single time, blowing out a lot of power. But if you have a high ceiling, it's not always going to work. I wanted something bigger and softer to diffuse the light. And that does give it a little more frontal, but it's softer. It's not harsh at all. So I decided to get, you know, this guy. You know, you have, you have your grain, everything on back. But essentially what you do is you put your flash in here. So I'll do it. I'm going to put my SB800 in here. You know, without the flash head on it. And essentially... Oh, that's actually going to hold really well. So essentially this is how it's going to look. My flash head... There's a little uh, pocket right here that the top of your flash head goes into. And it's got like this stretchy, I don't want to say Under Army type of stuff, but it's got the stretchy stuff that goes onto it. And essentially what this is going to do is just give me, I'm just curious to see if this will even show up on, um, on camera. Essentially for a test, here's the modeling light. So that's a 
big soft light. So it's really going to be strong. It's going to be something that I'm really going to use. And the awesome thing is it literally folds down, you know, really, really tiny. So the F-Stoppers flash disc, I'm going to, you know, obviously do a review for you guys because a lot of people are curious because this isn't a cheap price tag, but it's an awesome gift that I got that I can start using in my business right now. And specifically exactly what I've been looking for for a little while. So, so yeah. So coming out of the flash disc, I actually got the Fuji Instax 210. I've really, really been into the um, the Polaroid game recently, and I just wanted something instant, something more fun that I could bring, you know, to friend family parties and maybe even weddings just to give something away, something really nice. So it's just been something that's really, really cool. They even have, you know, you got to get um, certain types of film. But uh, but yeah, I just wanted to bring this thing out and just show it. I haven't even opened this up yet, so this is a first for me. This is my unofficial unboxing. And then you get a strap, a strap. But well, here is the little guy, and it comes with batteries too. But this is the Fuji Instax 210. This thing feels amazing. Does it come preloaded? It does not come preloaded. But you just put the film in the back there. It snaps right in. You have your viewfinder over here. But essentially, you are ready to go. So this is the Fuji Instax 210. What's all this stuff on the side? You got power, light and dark, loud, flash. Yeah, so I'm excited to start getting used in this as well. And uh, so these are the, those are the things that I got essentially for bubble wrap for the uh, for the holidays. And it'd be awesome to hear what everyone else had, as long as it's not a whale or cattail like the other thing that was here. So what did everyone else get for the holidays? Hopefully you kind of you know enjoyed the haul a little bit to see what else was out there, other gift ideas maybe that I've talked about before. Now you're seeing them, but as I said. I'm gonna review some of these just because it's really, really awesome. The Humans in New York book I really, really wanted. This was just a super awesome bonus that I got because I really, I've really i been looking for something like this for a while and the flash disk is an awesome thing. So what did everyone get? I know I went to Best Buy, put on my credit card, I got a new smart TV so I feel like I'm in the game. But what did everyone else get? Please let me know down in the comments below. Eric Ross to the guy with the eye. We're ending 2014, heading towards 2015. Maybe what's one big purchase you want for 2015? Let me know down below. Have a good one, guys, and thank you very, very much for watching.